let's talk about the three types of people who come into recovery. And it doesn't matter what type of recovery. It could be AA, NA, any type of 12-step program, or cognitive behavioral program. But these are the three types of people who initially walk through the door. The visitor, the complainer, and the customer. The visitor says, I don't have a problem. And without a problem, there's no motivation to change. So, no problem, no change. Is this going to take long? I've got some other things I need to do. And uh, I don't really need to be here. So, if we could kind of hurry this up, that would be great. Um, I'm only here because other people are telling me I need to be here, but I really don't need to be here. Uh, I got a DUI, I got busted, but uh, one of those things where I didn't even deserve it. I've driven way more drunk before and never been pulled over, so total sham. I'm only here because I have to be here. I'm a visitor. The complainer admits to having a problem, but does this shifty thing called blame. There's always an excuse or a reason why they do what they do. They don't take responsibility. And as long as you blame other people, places, and things, you're not going to get better. Yes, I have a problem. I drink too much. I probably do too much of other stuff as well. But it's not my biggest problem. If you had my family, you'd be drinking too. And if you had my job, you would need to do something at lunchtime to get yourself through the rest of the day. And I'm not going to stop hanging out with my friends. And when they order a round of shots, I'm not going to be rude and say no. And I don't have time to go to all your stupid meetings. You know, this is a struggle. It's real. And you don't hear what I'm saying. I'm a complainer. The customer admits to having a problem and therefore accepts the responsibility for change and growth. Now, those are big words there. Accepts. That doesn't mean that we have to agree with something. It just means that we have to accept it for what it is. It's about surrender. Once we accept things for as they are, life gets a little bit easier. Responsibility means that it falls on your shoulder to stay clean and sober. Nobody else can do it for you. You have to work your own program. So by being responsible for yourself, that gives you the opportunity to have the change in growth, which is the outcome. I've been at this for way too long. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of lying to my family. I'm tired of doing things because people want me to do it. My life just isn't getting any better. I don't need to be Superman anymore. I just need to surrender. And you know, in doing so, my life's getting a lot better. It's not that I have to do this. I get to do this. I'm a customer. Now, people don't always move through the, the three types clearly. Some people start as visitors, move on to complainers, and bounce back and forth. I've had some people come in that just swore to me that they were a customer. They told me they really wanted this with all their heart and all their soul. But then later on came back to me and said, you know, I thought I really wanted it, but I wasn't ready to give up my wine collection yet. I wasn't ready to smash my pipes. Or in one instance, I wasn't ready to give up my meth lab. It's a process, but as long as you're moving forward, that's where growth happens. And when you get to be a customer, you're ready to work the first three steps of whatever fellowship you belong to. Because the first three steps are all about surrender and humility. You can't get clean and sober and work an honest program and get serenity in your life without the acceptance and the humility. If you stick with it, you become the fourth person, the subscriber. This is somebody who buys into the program and makes a lifestyle change. And lifestyle changes can be from hanging out with different people or making new rituals in your life. On a Friday night, instead of going to the bar with your friends with a pocket full of money from payday, maybe it's going to a meeting or sponsoring somebody and being of service. That's what a subscriber does. So in early recovery, I tell everybody, look for the subscribers grab onto them, and learn from them. Family members also fall under the three types. 
A lot of family members don't think they have the problem. It's the addict alcoholic in the family that has the problem. So they don't see a need to be a part of their treatment. They don't see a need to be a part of their own Al-Anon or Code of Fellowship. And that's too bad because they're visitors. If you live under the same roof as somebody, maybe you don't have the same addiction. Maybe you don't accept their addiction and agree with it. But there might be a dance that needs to be fine-tuned. Oftentimes in families, there could be boundaries that aren't clear, boundaries that are inconsistent, communication problems. All of this, the family needs to work on themselves. And that's where family members can become customers as well. To look into their own self, take responsibility for their own actions, and in the process, hopefully, help the person who's in recovery. So ask yourself, are you a visitor, a complainer, or a customer? Here I am. Not sure if I could say I've arrived because I don't think I've made my destination yet, but I certainly am enjoying myself. Life is good. Hasn't always been this way. It's been extremely hard at times. There were times I felt like giving up, but I pushed through and I'm so glad I did because here I am. I am a subscriber.